so the Panzer IV Hanku. Uh, the only reason you should get this tank is if you like the way the uh, brown comic style looks. I personally like it. And now I use it to train my VK3002M crew. If you don't have a crew for it, I think if you set the game audio settings to standard, then you don't have to listen to those, you know, fuck me sounds. That... I don't have any audio on my tank driving, okay. Huh. Uh, anyway, so if you set the game audio settings to auto or standard, you don't have to listen to those sounds that, honestly, looking at the crew, it's something that the FBI might be interested in if you enjoy it a little bit too much. So, um, here we are on Karelia, my favorite map. It's a tier 7 game, and I've just been getting tier 7 games on this constantly, from the first game on. And I go to this first position to counter their light tank. They only have one. And it actually works, look at that. Now, this tank... Overall, I think it, it's not a bad tank. It's just a standard Panzer 4H with a gun that you don't want. You can make it work. It's not great, though. And the reason I picked this game is because it is sort of representative of this tank. Great, their light tank is dead. This is going to be a lot easier now for us. Um, I guess the gun depression is nice. Mobility is adequate. Accuracy, as you'll see here, nope. Uh, accuracy, I think the base is like 0.38. Not good. So overall, only get this thing if you like the way it looks. Personally, as I said before, I do like it. Like, playing it, you know, it's got that that turret that I like from the Panzer 54 that I haven't gotten yet. So, hmm. It's, I think it depends on what you usually play. If you usually play medium tanks, and maybe even heavy tanks, I don't think the lack of speed will bother you. But if, like me, you play predominantly light tanks, it does feel a little slow. And I'm not sure, I would actually like your opinion on what you think about this position on this map. I don't think it's too good, but in a tier 7 game, I just really didn't feel like going anywhere else. I really just wanted to counter the light tank. And um, I do make, I think, a good play here in just a little bit, because look at look at their team list. Pretty much everyone is spotted right now, except a few tank destroyers and a KV-2. So I decide to be really aggressive and go into the middle of the map, which will give me side shots on both flanks. If I get, can get here without getting spotted, it's a fantastic position. So, well, their KV-2 pops up, and look at that. I get to shoot at one flank while being protected from their tank destroyers by the rock to my left. There you go, accuracy not great. And after I get this T-34, and I do get him, I get to turn around and shoot at the tier 7 tank destroyer, one of their most dangerous tanks. So this is working well. Actually, I'm noticing that the Comet hadn't been spotted up until now. That's weird, he's still in our base. He He's not AFK, he's just... Hmm, whatever. And yeah, look at this. Accuracy, not on point. Hmm. Um, you know, when you play this, now I've only ever been bottom tier against mostly tier 7 and, and tier 6s. So I don't know what this feels like in a tier 5 game, but still, it's not, a, it's not gonna be great. But it's also not terrible. Overall, it's alright to play. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just whatever. Hmm. Now, this game right here looks pretty good. Now, it's not the greatest score ever. I, I've gotten, you know, obviously, you after a while, you will get, you know, more damage or whatever. But I feel like I like that play where I go into the middle. And it is sort of representative of this tank because you can sort of tell, yeah, it's not very accurate. It can sort of work. Will this hit? I think it will actually. No, it won't. And I think this the accuracy of this thing is one of the things that lets it down the most. I've set it up with... Yeah, yeah, here, right here. I really wanted to take that T-67 out. That would have been just good for this game. And look, it's just not 
quite there, and then he, eh. Um, so I've set this, I've, I've got this set up with a rammer, ventilation, and optics. And since I never run food on my tanks, I don't even have full view range. And here the KV-2, or they already spots me. And I realize that there's a KV-2 in front of me, but at this stage in the game, I don't care. I just want to kill Artie, you know? And, well, no, not with this accuracy. And this KV-2, concerning that he did nothing the whole game, pretty much, at least I don't think so, he's playing surprisingly smart. Like, I thought he was just going to be a big dummy. But no, look at him, you know, he's sort of, I guess, using concealment. He goes behind cover when I try to shoot at him and then pops back out. And what's up, accuracy? Look, that's a hit, and I'm pretty sure that's a low roll. So, yeah. Not not a special game. At least did more damage than my hit points, but it's okay. I do like the way this thing looks, especially with that little, you know, red and orange tail light there. It's alright. And I don't think I need to put the endgame stats in this game on this one. So, yeah, I really, if you like the way it looks and you want to waste some money, like me, I was just bored. Uh, I thought they were going to put up the 274 LT432 for sale, but they didn't, so...